Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another haul. This time it's not Happy Mail, but it's from And That. So if you don't have an And That store, it's Christmas Tree Shops And That, and they have amazing like home decor items. They also have food and things like that. Um, but I went shopping with my mama and got some Halloween stuff. I tried to control myself. Um, there are definitely a lot of things that I put back but I ended up with a lot of really cute stuff. So if you're interested in that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not. In the words of Philly D, let's just jump right into it. What does he say? Let's just jump into it. Okay, I'm just gonna start pulling things out of my bag randomly. These are in absolutely no order. First things first, elephant in the room, this tablecloth. I, re I realize it still has the, um, the wrinkle in it from where it was folded, but I just bought it today. I got this one and that. The colors, like, it has bats on it, and I immediately thought, like, I want to use this as a filming backdrop for spooky time this year, so. Anyway, one of the first things that I got was this really cute little, just plastic dish. Um, it was marketed, like, it was put near the candy, so you would put, like, candy in it, but honestly, I'm probably going to put, like, sticky notes and stuff like that in it um and just keep it on my desk because it is so cute and this is something that because i'm weird i will keep this out all year round next thing is this adorable purple pumpkin how pretty my mom actually bought this for me she found it i didn't see this and she got me this so thanks mom um yeah super super cute pumpkin love this color great photo prop for planner picks too look at that i'm just stick him right there Okay, this is so random, but parchment sheets. Like, are you serious? Like I had I had to have these. So they were, yeah, $2 and they're pre-cut parchment sheets. So if I wanna bake cookies or something, but also as y'all know, in the player community, we use parchment paper and wax paper for uh, holding stickers. So I might even use some of this depending on the size. You know what? Let's just open it up. Um, I thought about like maybe I could use this in my traveler's notebook just as like a layering piece. I'm trying to figure out the right way to open this without like destroying it. All right, well, I totally destroyed the packaging opening it, but that's all right. So, <laughs> ooh, I just wanted to pull it out. Oh, yeah, this is going in the traveler's notebook 100%. Look at that. It's almost like the perfect size too. Let's see. It is 10 by 15 inches. So yeah, the 10 is exactly what I need for my B6 Traveler's Notebook. And then I just need to uh, cut it down to five inches tall. How freaking great is that? Yeah, super cute. Guys. I did not need another pillow. I just, I had to have him. I mean, I I had to have him. So he came home with me and no regrets. I'm, I just, I had to have him. Oh yeah, here we have some LED tea lights. So I have quite a few things laying around that hold a tea light that I just haven't had a tea light for. And I really like the black glitter. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be super messy, but, um, yeah, I just thought they were really pretty, and I'm excited to actually uh, use some tea lights. So these are some sandwich bags, so you can see the designs here. So we've got Happy Halloween, Squad Ghouls, that was my favorite one, spider webs, and Trick or Treat. So obviously you could use these for trick or treating for candy, um, you could use them for like bringing your lunch to work. We have had some in our drawer that we've been using throughout the past year. Um, the design is slightly different, but yeah, so I, I had to get those. Same price as the parchment sheets, uh, $1.99. This, if you are a longtime subscriber, this is gonna look familiar. I bought one of these last year, and I, I think these were like left over from last year. This was the last one. So I could only get one, I'm pretty bummed about it. It's a placemat, but I actually, um, like cut it and used it in my traveler's notebook last year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one at this point, but oh God, it's so pretty. 
I really want, I really wanted to get like four of them, but this was the last one. They had a bunch of jack-o'-lantern ones, so if you're interested in that, um, but yeah, dollar twenty-nine. The hollow, I mean, come on, I had to have that. I'm just gonna keep. That's so pretty. I'm gonna just keep that there. Oh, I forgot about these. I got these right to check out. Some uh, window clings. These were a dollar. How freaking pretty, right? And then check these out. Oh my god, these are so cool. I'm so ex oh my god, I'm so excited to use these. Did I need window clings? Absolutely not. But here we are. Oh yeah. So I saw this. It's called Bloody Gauze, and obviously you could wrap it around as Bloody Gauze, but when they showed this here, I thought this could be really fun for decorating. Um, so I don't know exactly how this is going to be used yet, but I'm definitely going to use it, and it was only a dollar, so I got two of them. Then I got some purple bulbs, so these are 70 little mini lights. They have the black cord, which is what I'm always looking for. So I actually have a Halloween tree. I'm going to... Uh, take a good photo of it pretty soon for Instagram. Um, I just decorated it over the weekend. I've had it up for a few weeks, but I hadn't decorated it. I found some really cute ornaments at Dollar Tree, and um, I want to put this on there. It already has lights. The lights are orange, but I thought adding purple lights would be kind of cool. Um, and these are indoor-outdoor, which is uh, pretty cool. $3.99, so... Definitely excited to check these out. They had orange, they had um, all different colors, and then they also had the little, like, um, like they had little bat lights and pumpkins and stuff. Um, but I already have some of those, and I got them at Dollar Tree, and they work just fine, so I didn't need them. So I got those. Oh, this little guy. This little spider, he was just so cute. He's got little googly eyes, and like, he's just, he was just cute. Oh my god, guys. So, I saw these and had to have them. Um, not sure if I'm going to put them in with my current floral arrangements already or build up like new ones, but they had all different colors like pastel, goth, like it, it was beautiful. They had like green, pastel, and pink and everything. Um, I just got a couple of the purple ones and I'm probably just going to, I'm probably going to stick them in with my current floral arrangements. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, these, these had to come home with me. There was no way I was going to leave those in the store. Oh my God. This little guy was everything. So I know not everybody likes gnomes. I don't have a lot of gnome stuff because I don't want to be like one of those gnome people. But this little guy was just so cute with his little like cape. I mean, I, I just, he had to come home with me too. So, oh, I forgot about this. Okay. So this is a banner and it says, Hey boo, look at that. The colors are perfect. This is something again that because I really like fall and Halloween, I keep stuff out. Um, some stuff I keep out year round, other things I will just kind of take in and out. I do like to decorate for Christmas sometimes or Valentine's day. Um, but this is something I could see myself keeping out for quite a while. I might hang it over the bed um, or like on the mantle or I'm not sure where yet, but it was just too pretty to not get this little guy I mean he had to come home with me I mean you see why he was just too cute I saw him he was in a really weird spot in the store like kind of hidden and I saw him and I had to have him look at his little face okay I got one plate I don't need any more plates but like come on now this I'm probably just gonna use as a decorative thing I'm probably not gonna actually use it I do have a plate um, from and that from last year that I actually use. This one I think I'm just going to display. Um, you know, it's it's not microwave safe. It doesn't say if it's dishwasher safe. I would assume not. Oh yeah, it says hand wash only. Duh. So no, not dishwasher safe. Um, so I'm probably just going to use this as decoration, but I just thought it was so pretty. And it's good quality. It's nice. And there's my other how... Um, bloody gauze this is in my bag this actually came from cracker barrel my mom and i just ran into the store section and i just saw this little ornament and thought he was really cute and he was 99 cents so he had to come home with me y'all have you ever seen a cuter headband so i actually had a headband that had bat wings on it i had it for like two years or so it was from dollar tree and um it fell apart last year like the the wings started falling apart and then this started 
I could have fixed it, but it was just getting on my nerves. So I, um, I got rid of that and then this is my new headband. I just absolutely loved this um, like gingham burlap bow and I love the, the stitching on the wings. So I am super excited to wear this. You'll definitely be seeing me wearing this over on Instagram. And there's two more things that I got, but I can't like bring them in here with this setup because it'll look like I won't be able to really show you. I'm gonna put pics on the screen and just describe what they are. So they are two rugs. The one rug is an outdoor rug and the other one is um, an indoor rug. So first, the outdoor rug. We saw this like right when we went in the store. The shape, like it's so unique. It's just, it's so unique. Um, I can put it right on the front porch. It says keep out. I believe it said keep out. Um, it's got the cute little skeleton on it. Just the coffin shape is what got me. Um, absolutely love it. Just think it's super cute. So that's the outdoor rug. And so the indoor mat is, again, like the outdoor one, very unique. Like it was just so pretty. Um, the moths and the colors, it's just, I don't know. It was really different. I thought it was beautiful. And I think I'm going to put it like right when you walk into the house um, on the, you know, inside of the front door. I think it's so pretty and I'm really excited about it. So um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything. That's my in that haul. Um, like I said, there's a lot of other things I wanted, but I had to, you know, not uh, blow the whole budget at one store. And, you know, you guys know if you've been here a bit or if you follow me on Instagram, I do have a lot of Halloween decor already. So um, I like to just be selective and only buy things I love and not just things that are okay. Um, like this was an example of something that I loved him so much and I was like, he needs to come home with me. I'm so excited. Um, I need to cut his, need to cut his tag off. And this little gnome, like so many things that were just so freaking cute. Um, and I only bought the stuff that I felt was good quality. The thing with and that is it's very like hit or miss. I feel there's some things that are very cheaply made and the price doesn't reflect that. And there's other things that seem really well made that seem like they don't cost what they should. So um, I'm just very selective with things. Um, but I will definitely, you know, show you guys how I use these things and I will show you again on Instagram. I'll be posting a picture once my tree is fully decorated and the house is clean and <laughs> set up and everything. Um, and once I figure out where I'm putting all of this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what your favorite thing is. And also let me know, do you have an and that store? Because some people in my DMs on Instagram are like, what is that store? What is this magical place? Because they don't have one. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know. And if you don't have any in that, where do you like to get your fall and Halloween decor? So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you have not. Uh, follow me over on Instagram. Check out my Patreon, my podcast, Pixels and Planners. Everything is in the description box. So I appreciate your support and I will see you next time.